The Armour 2.0 system which arrives with Shadow Keep is everything I've ever wanted. Today I will bring you all you need to know about this new system and how it works. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it truly helps me out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so not too long ago, Bungie dropped a stream revealing pretty much everything you need to know about the 2.0 armor system. And I won't lie to you guys, it looks good. It looks promising. I cannot wait. So let's get into it and discuss how this will work. Okay, so each armor piece will have three mod slots uh, and will also drop with a specific burn resilience i.e void solar or arc this resilience or energy as they called it on stream will be of a certain number between 1 and 10 and this is something you level up like in game now to make said armors uh, masterworked a masterwork armor piece will have an energy number of 10 obviously leveling up armor pieces will cost glimmer around the earlier levels then shards and masterwork cores and then new materials to the game enhancement prisms and ascendant shards these two new materials seem to be needed for the later few levels to masterwork gear your guardian will now have instead of the current mobility resilience and recovery they will now have six different stats mobility resilience recovery discipline intellect and strength each one offering a unique trait for your guardian. Now these character stats work in tiers and each has 10 tiers. This is what each stat adds to your guardian. Mobility increases your movement speed and maximum jump height. Resilience increases the amount of damage you can take before dying and this works by increasing your shield. Recovery increases the speed at which you regain lost health. Discipline decreases the cooldown of your grenades allowing you to use them more often. Intellect decreases the cooldown of your super ability, allowing you to use it more often. And Strength decreases the cooldown of your melee ability, allowing you to use it more often. Now each of these stats will have tiers, tiers 1 to 10. Each individual tier is made up of 10 points. So 100 points of strength will make this a tier 10, a max out melee ability cooldown time. And these points come from your armors. Armors will now consist of the six different stats also, dropping with a random amount of points shared across each stat. Sometimes you will get more points towards one character stat over another. We can see the Sorcerer's Leg piece has a total of 46 points shared across each stat. So if you have a leg piece with 20 strength points and a helmet piece with 20 strength points, 40 strength points in total will see you having a tier 4 of strength on your character stats. So let's go back to the specific armor energy we spoke of earlier. Each armor piece consists of a random energy number upon drop, leveling up using glimmer shards, cores and so forth will make it a level 10 masterwork. Doing this adds an additional 2 points to each of the character's stats. And this is per masterworked armor piece. And this energy number is also how the new mods or perks work. Each mod or perk now works on a point basis system. Having a masterwork 10 armor piece means you have 10 points to play with on that said armor piece. If you have an armor piece which drops with a level 5 energy, you only have 5 points to play with and so forth. To apply certain mods depending on the mods themselves will cost you these points to apply them. And as you can see some of these mods cost 2 while others cost 5. Using 2 mods that cost 5 each means you will only be able to apply 2 mods to one said masterworked armor piece. You can however use one mod that costs two, another mod that costs three, and one mod that costs five. You basically, depending on the energy level of said armor piece, have that many points to play with when it comes to applying mods. Each armor piece has three slots, three mod slots. The first slot is for general armor mods like strength mods etc which add points to said character stats along with the usual paragon mod and so forth we see in game now. And the second two mods are mainly weapon specific. Each mod does have a corresponding mods not available to other armor pieces like loaders on gauntlets and traction on leg pieces and so forth. Class items do have the same mods set up but do not offer character stats unless you apply a specific armor mod to increase their said stat. 
Another interesting and great point is, let's say you apply a sniper rifle loader to a said piece that you like the look of, then later on down the line you want to swap this to a hand cannon loader, it will only cost you glimmer, and you don't lose the mod you swap out either. So you can mix and match uh, for literally just glimmer people, not losing mods. That is a great move in my opinion. You cannot apply the same mod twice to the same armor piece, so you cannot apply two shotgun scavengers to the same gauntlet piece. These new mods come from a variety of different places also, the gunsmith will continue to sell them. You will also be able to get them from the gunsmith packages, world engrams, and enhanced mods will drop from endgame activities like Iron Banner and so forth. Also guys, if you are wondering, Bungie mentioned the fact all legendary gear which drops in game now, no matter the planet, come Shadow Keep in October, they will drop as armor 2.0. Also exotics you have already acquired, which you can pull from your collections. When the Shadow Keep arrives, these will also be armor 2.0, so you can adjust, add, and so forth with them. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, I think I have covered everything you need to know about the armor 2.0 system and how mods work. It's relatively simple to be honest. But if you have any questions, let me know down below in that comment section, or you can ask me on Twitter at dpjsc08, which is linked within the video description. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.